Today, we're doing a bypass barn door installation for a laundry room. This video is supplementary to the installation instructions, so please follow them when doing your installation. First, find and mark the locations of the studs along the wall where you plan on mounting the tracks. If the pre-drilled holes in the track don't line up with the studs, then you'll want to mount a header board as we did here. Next, measure the height of the door you will be installing. You need to determine the mounting height of the inside track by taking your door height, not the height of your doorway, and adding one and three quarter inches. Measure that distance from the floor and mark it on your wall or header board. Using a long level, draw a horizontal line along the length of the track at the point you just marked. Next, measure and mark two more points above the line. These will show the mounting height of the bypass brackets. Again, using a long level, draw horizontal lines along the length of the track at the locations you marked. Now, if your track is eight feet or longer, you're going to need to splice the tracks together using the junction plate, like this. With the help of another person, lift the track up to the wall with the line running through the center of the pre-drilled holes on your track. If you are not using a header board, the holes must align with your studs. Then mark the center point of the pre-drilled holes. Using a speed square, mark the points on the second and third line directly above the points you just marked on the first line. This will tell you the mounting location for the bypass brackets. Then, drill out the holes at the locations of the marks you just made. Now, take a look at one end of the track and insert a long lag bolt through the pre-drilled hole and spacer with the wide end of the spacer facing the wall. Next, place the door stoppers on the track and tighten the screws. You'll want to determine the approximate stopping location of the doors before securing the track. Screw the lag bolt into the first pre-drilled hole like this. Then, do the same thing at the other end of the track. Repeat for the remaining spacer holes and tighten all of the lag bolts firmly once the last one is in place. Now it's time to mount the bypass brackets. Place the arm of the small bypass bracket against the wall so that the center of the holes line up with the pre-drilled holes on the header board. Insert the lag bolts and tighten. Repeat this step for the remaining brackets. Once you have them mounted, place the long bypass bracket underneath the short bracket and fasten them together using the bracket connector bolts. Repeat this step again for all of the brackets and then tighten them firmly. Now that the bypass brackets are in place, you can mount the outer track. First, place the door stops on the track. Insert the bolt through the track, the spacer, and the bracket with the wide end of the spacer against the bypass bracket. Tighten the nut at the end of the bolt to secure the track in place, repeat these steps for the remaining bypass brackets and then firmly tighten them. You now have your tracks mounted. Congratulations, the tricky part is finished. It's time to prepare the door to be hung. First off, you will need to cut a channel in the bottom of the door to accommodate the fin guide. If you opt for a different style of guide, you can skip this step. Draw a straight line at the middle point along the length of the bottom of your door. Using a router, cut a channel along the length of the door using the line as a guide. Next, you'll mount the hangers to the door. Start by cutting a block of wood one and seven eighths inches in height. Measure and mark the placement location of the hanger so that both hangers are the same distance from the edge of the door. Place the hanger with the strap on the front of the door 
and then put the block between the top of the door and the hanger wheel. Clamp the hanger down and drill out the mounting holes. Insert the long bolt from the back of the door and secure it on the front of the hanger using the acorn nut and tighten firmly. Repeat these steps for the remaining hangers and doors. With the help of a second person, lift the inner door up at an angle, bringing it beneath the outside track and rest the wheels on the inside track so that the groove of the wheel fits on the track. Then mount the outside door on the outer track. Adjust the door stops so that both doors will stop in the desired locations and tighten the screws. To install the floor guides, make sure the door is in the open position. Place the guide in the channel and use a level to ensure the door is plumb. Mark the mounting location, drill out the holes, and secure the guide by screwing it in place. And there you have it. Try it out, and if you have any questions, send us a message. We'll be happy to help. Whether you are still planning or in the middle of your installation, Dusty's Rustic Rolling Doors is here for you at every stage of your project. Reach out to us today.